from Mama and Manila. And I'm Gia Ventajado from Mama and Manila. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she is behind the scenes with Mama and Manila. Any of our good ideas or any of our like fantastic food shots and different things and recipes that we come up with for the blog and of course for Instagram, it's usually her. Ooh. I can't <laughs> take the credit. So today, um, we are gonna make brownies. There's nothing better than fudgy, chocolatey, crispy corner, heavy, yummy brownies. So first we're gonna start with butter. Three fourths cup, melted. So I'll pour it in. Yes. Do you remember your very first time baking? Yeah, my very first time baking. Three fourths cup sugar. That I remember, I was probably seven. I was making chocolate chip cookies and I, I didn't really read the recipe the right way and I was just going through the ingredients and I did everything in the totally wrong order. Like, I put the flour first, then the butter, and I, I remember looking at the batter, what I had, and it was totally different from what it looked like when I had made it with you. And then I called you and I was like, Mom, I think I did something wrong. Um, how do I fix this? She's like, don't worry about it. You can just make it into a cookie bar. We'll put it in a Pyrex and everything will be fine. So I was a nice mom. Yes, you were. <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't yell that she did it wrong. It yeah. was nice. I did it nice. Okay, so we're beating the brown sugar and the melted butter. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to add two mm -hmm. eggs. Helpful tip, when you're cracking eggs into batter, Make sure you do it in a separate bowl so that if you get any shells or a bad egg, right? Or a bad egg because yeah. that's happened before too. Yeah. So we'll just break it here. Beauty. And then one at a time. I'll crack the next one. So how old were you when you remember baking those cookies? I was seven. It was when we had first. Moved. Seven? Yes, seven, seven. Uh, when we had first moved here, so that's why I remember the age so well. Because it was, was like the first time I baked in the new kitchen. Aww. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Another egg. So it's also important that when you beat the eggs in to any recipe that you're baking, you do them one by one. So you want to make sure it's incorporated. For myself, let's see, I got into baking when I was a little bit older than her. <laughs> she was seven. I was 14 and I remember baking um, chocolate chip cookies were my first item to bake as well because my mom could cook for 50 people like at the drop of a hat, but she couldn't bake. So I wanted to make sure that we had dessert that was homemade instead of store-bought, <laughs> um, which store-bought is great also, um, but I just kind of felt like everything that my mom made was homemade and delicious and just made for a wonderful and beautiful buffet. It's easy to melt uh, chocolate and carefully, because you don't want it to burn, in a double boiler. So how we do that is we just put water in a small pot and you melt the chocolate over the boiling water so that it's it won't burn. Yeah. It melts You're just using slowly. Like the, steam, yeah. the heat from the water to melt the chocolate. Actually has three different types of chocolate. So we put melted dark chocolate in and then we're also going to add, we're gonna sift in cocoa powder with the flour and we're also going to add chocolate chunks. So that's actually what's next, the sifting of the cocoa I know you powder. Want to do that. I know, this is so neat. <laughs> the cocoa powder and the flour. So this is just a fourth cup of cocoa powder and three fourths cup of all purpose flour. Ooh. Now that I've added the flour, I want to mix it like the least. So are you folding? Not really folding. It's still whisking because I'm still using a whisk, but it's just, just till everything's incorporated. Right. So one of the other things that we've learned, obviously, with our time that we spend in the kitchen is over mixing is just as bad as under mixing. How would you choose to level this basic brownie recipe up? Well, there's a lot that you could do. I mean, I know that you love nuts and like... Peanut butter. Peanut butter. So you could add walnuts to the batter just like this. 
or you could choose to wait and add peanut butter icing on top after they're baked. Which we will do. Yes. Okay, so this is done. And now I'll add in the chocolate chunks. Right. We like to plan, so weekends for us are, aside from planning and executing Best Buddies events, because we have a foundation where we serve individuals with intellectual and developmental disability. Sundays are usually like baking days that if we have our own specialty, so I love baking cookies. You're really good at pretty much everything. <laughs> <laughs> so she makes like really awesome focaccia, um, chocolate cake, cookies, like tarts. There's nothing this girl can't do. But <laughs> for the boys, the boys and jelly, like their first entry yeah. into baking, aside from cookies, has been like the Rice Krispie treats where right. you use the puff cereal and you just mix it with marshmallows and, and then they'll butter. add in like other things like um, my brother likes to add Oreos so it's just like that's how he makes it and it's nice. Okay so another baking tip when you want to grease your brownie pan you can just combine a little bit of cocoa with some butter melted butter which is what we did and we'll just paint the inside of the, the pan. Yeah. So this is what it ends up looking like. And I was so excited because I wanted to serve a croquembouche. And I didn't want to make it because I didn't know how. <laughs> so I ordered it, but I ordered it from this bakery that was like really far away. <laughs> Nino, um, Gia's dad, drove us. Me, Gia, and Nino went and like we picked up this croquembouche that was so beautiful and we put it on the dessert table. I was so proud for our first Christmas that we had such a beautiful dessert. So she knows that story and she wanted to make it for me for Mother's Day, which was super yeah. sweet. Okay, so this goes in the oven. Yes, uh, I, when I put like cake pans or brownies into, a tr into the oven, I like to put it on top of a tray because it's easier to take out number one and two if there's like overflow or anything you're not making a mess in your oven in the oven that you have to clean yes so we're gonna put this in for 23 minutes exactly. it's an odd number all right so the brownies have come out of the oven we yep. let it cool so of course from the magic of tv we let it cool yes and we're going to take it out and slice it yeah. Whenever we're getting our ingredients, of course, especially even now, even more so that we are, um, we're all at home. All at home. And we're all baking and we're all cooking and we're all experimenting in the kitchen. We also can't go out that much for our ingredients and we have our go-to place. Yes. It makes it easy for us. Lots so of we, fun things. Yeah, and in terms of pricing, like, we bake a lot, so we know the prices of flour and sugar, and um, we really enjoy buying our ingredients, no matter what they are, from Gavino's. Yeah. So it's very easy for us to stock our baking arsenal yes. or our pantry yeah. with what we need. like to follow more of our kitchen adventures Ooh. you can follow me on mom man manila or mama and manila if you want to recreate what we've made here today or level up your brownies or cookies or whatever make sure to follow gavinos yeah because that's where you can get all of the ingredients and of course look for inspiration on how to get creative in the kitchen and remember <laughs> anyone, anyone can, can bake, bake.